We're done with the, the dorsal ones, and here's one that you can see both in the dorsal view and also the ventral view. This is your adductor mandibuli. The adductor mandibuli with the spiracular makes your first view constrictor. Now you're going to see a complete ventral view of that muscle. So you're going to see the first view constrictor here, and you can see on this side as well, it's better, like more intact on this side. It's your intermandibular. From this point to the beginning of the first gill, I have my ventral gill constrictor, my second ventral gill constrictor. You can see the end of the intermandibular here, and it's just a short one. And then these muscles that you see around the gill slits are the third through sixth gill constrictor. At the bottom, I have this beak here that is called the coracoarch wall. Coracoarch wall. And then you have to cut and reflect the intermandibular to re-expose the other ones. The back end of the intermandibular is known as interhyoid. Now, here I can see, cut and reflect on this side as well, that I have a core muscle that is the coracomandibular, part of it is cut. And then deep and lateral to the coracomandibular, I have the coracohyoid. And those are the muscles of the shark. I'll see you next week.